All right, here's another example. Here we have a system of equations. Uh, the first thing I want to point out with this system of equations is it is not in standard form. It's not even, well, it's kind of close, but it's not, the equations are not in standard form. So I cannot put this in an augmented matrix right off the bat. I would have to put it in standard form. So that's what I'll do first. Uh, this first equation, I'll subtract y from both sides. I end up with x minus y plus 5z equals negative 6. The second equation is 3x plus 3y subtracting z from both sides, so minus z equals 10. And the third equation, x plus 3y plus 2z equals 5. Okay, so it was close to being in standard form. It just wasn't all the way there yet. Now that it is, everything's in standard form, now I can write up my augmented matrix. 1, negative 1, 5, negative 6, 3, 3, negative 1, 10, 1, 3, 2, 5. That's my augmented matrix, and I want to run RREF, so what I'll do is I'll just pull up my calculator here. Go to edit. Um, I'm using matrix A. It should be a 3 by 4 matrix, and I'll just go ahead and enter it in. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, apparently when I press that key, it brings me into the mode of my calculator. In any case, I finished editing. I've, I put that matrix in here. Um, I'm going to quit back out to my home screen. I'm going to run RREF. Um, I can go track it down in the matrix area again, or I'm actually just going to press second enter twice because I just ran it right up there. Press enter, and you can see I get... Uh, ones along the diagonal and zeros elsewhere on the left hand side of this augmented matrix and one two negative one on the right side one two negative one so this is the matrix that it looked like and thus I get the answer one two negative one this is an x coordinate of one a y coordinate of two and a z coordinate of negative one